Malcolm X essay essay on Malcolm X for students and children in English on February 2 1847 an escaped American slave named Frederick Douglass one of the fathers of the civil rights movement ridded himself to deliver a scorching lecture about the evils of slavery to the people of this city he would trade bread with poor white children in return for that more valuable bread of knowledge armed with the power of knowledge douglas strived to educate others in 1845 douglas published his first autobiography his Harrowing account detailed his resistance in the face of brutal oppression from men like Edward Covey, a renowned slave breaker. Moreover, the celebrity status also had to put Douglas at risk, and news soon reached him that his former master wanted him back. He would trick other crits into teaching him, but they delivered more than needlework. They raised funds to buy Douglas Freedom and established his newspaper. He continued to educate the American public about the realities and horrors of slavery. Inspired by the life he led and the clarity of his rhetoric, conventries people responded by helping to purchase his freedom. Throughout his youth, he did everything he could to steal an education from those who would withhold it from him he uses to tell local children that he would write just as well as them and when they refused to believe him he would challenge them to write letters in the mud and sound out the appropriate noises over weeks and months and years he stole an education letter by letter word by word it was the expe that experience that ultimately led Douglas to Britain and Conventry. His autobiography's publication made Douglas a modern celebrity and highlighted the suffering that he and other slaves experienced. He asked the women of Conventry and beyond to donate needlework to the anti-slavery bazaar in Boston to help fund in anti-slavery work. With his freedom at risk, Douglas sued Britain and Ireland. In packed auditoriums in places like St. Mary's Guildhall in Conventry, he found an audience eager to listen to his story and support his cause. 120 years after Douglas came to Conventry, a very different sort of American civil rights leader found himself in the small town of Methwick near Birmingham City in England. Here Malcolm X was faced with a type of racism that was disturbingly similar to what he might have found in Birmingham, Alabama. He was born in Malcolm Little in May 1925, Malcolm X has been exposed to the concept of Pan-Africanism thanks to his parents' adherence to the ideas of Jamaican-born activi activist Marcus Garvey. Growing up in Michigan, X would later describe how he internalized his that time's racism changing his appearance and attitude to be more widely accepted by his white peers. Malcolm was a part of a big family with his parents Louis Norton Little and his father, a Baptist minister, Earl Little, a civic rights activist. His father was continuously protesting for the rights of other black people. 